Hi, in this tutorial today we will cover the topic of rasterization in layers. Have you ever come across to a point where there was a message, sorry, operation could not be performed because the layer needs to be rasterized. So what is this rasterization all about? So let's see and learn today about rasterization. Rasterizing a Photoshop layer basically converts a vector layer to pixels. So what is a vector layer? As already discussed, a vector layer is a layer which has shapes created by lines, the pen tool or the shape tool. So these images are images with hard edges. But if we want to apply the artistic effects to the vector layer, we need to convert them to layers. So how and why? Let's move forward. Why rasterize? The brush tool, the eraser tool, the paint tool and the filters only work on rasterized layer. So if you're trying on any layer, on a vector layer, you're trying to apply these, you will have a sign which says, sorry, not possible. You will not get the tool sign. To use one of these tools, the layer must first be converted to pixels. And this is when we apply rasterization. But remember one thing. After rasterization, the shape can lose quality after scaling and the text on it will become non-editable. So now let's move forward, dive into Photoshop and learn how do we rasterize a layer. Let's understand in Photoshop when does rasterization come into place. So let me just quickly use my shape tool and draw something here. So it's the shape tool I've selected and I'm drawing a rectangle here. Now this is how I, this is a vector graphic. So basically the two tools that, you know, create vector layers are my shape tool and my type tool. So these two layers, the type tool and the shape tool create vectors. And let me write something over here. So again, I'm writing something here and it's too small. So I'm going to select it here. So yeah, you can see uh, the tutorials on the shape tool and the vector tools in tutorials point. So I have these two layers, which are the vector layers. Now, vector layers, on vector layers, we cannot use the eraser tool, the brush tool, and the filters before they are rasterized. So there's something special about these vector layers. The vector tools, when you're going to scale them, so let me just do, come to my rectangle and do a control T so that I'm doing the transformation. This is to, you know, to scale it down. You can also go to edit and select the transformation and you can uh, shortcut, you can use control T, command T. Let me zoom it, you know, just to increase the size. No matter how I much how much I scale it, or maybe I can just zoom it by going here to my zoom tool. So do you want to apply? Okay, I want to apply, and I go into the zoom tool. If I zoom it up, I'm going to do Control plus plus. No matter how long do I'm zoom the edge zoom, the edges will just be perfect. Now let me go back and get back to what we were doing. So this is about vector layers. Vector layers are layers which can be drawn through the shape tool, the objects or layers that are drawn by lines and curves or the type tool, that means the text are vector layers. To apply the brush tool, eraser tool or the effects, filters, we need to first rasterize them. Before that, it will not allow us. Let me show you how. I'm gonna go to the eraser tool, which is a shortcut E, and this sign comes. You can look here, I'm moving around my cursor. This signs mean you're not allowed to work on this. No, no, you're not allowed. It simply means that. So let me just do a double click and it asks itself. This layer must be rasterized before proceeding. Yes, it should be. Okay. And now very well, I can easily keep my, you know, start deleting. Let us come here. So again, it cannot do it because we have to get back on the layer. So let me come here. And again, I get back this sign. So again, I'm going to click here twice, yes, please, and you see again, I'm going to use and erase the part I want. So whenever you want to use eraser tool or brush tool or filters on your vector layer, remember to rasterize itself. So that's how simple rasterization is.